All right, so for these testosterone sipinate injections, should we be doing these IM or sub-Q? There's two things to address. The old school method was IM. Use a 23 gauge, inch to inch and a half inch needle, and that's because you're doing one cc of testosterone a week, which is oil-based. So it makes sense when you have a whole cc that you need a bigger gauge to push all that fluid through. Uh, the issue with that is, is that I recommend doing smaller amounts more frequently. And also you're gonna get more tissue damage with a larger needle that's not only thicker, but longer. Most of my guys now are doing more frequent injections. So we do, you know, 0.3, two to three times a week. Uh, so that you can do a 27 gauge half inch needle. Uh, and then the next argument is just, well, muscle versus fat. Mm, not a whole lot of evidence saying one's better than the other. Technically speaking, your muscle has more blood flow, so it may get absorbed quicker, which maybe you don't want that. So another uh, reason why you might want to move to subcutaneous injections.